What is up, people? Today, we are diving into the different types of social organizations in Ashes of Creation. And by social organizations, I mean things such as thieves guilds and trading companies and all of that good stuff. But before we dive into the different types, you need to understand what the intent of a social organization is in Ashes of Creation. Social organizations in the game will give you a unique way to interact with the world around you and create micro communities within your server. Once a node reaches stage four, the these organizations will start popping up throughout the nodes, giving you different progression paths to partake in. These organizations do not rely on your level progression, and if you wanted to, you could spend most of your time within the node doing these things and never actually have to leave the city. They might give you some quests that take you outside the node to acquire certain items, but these items can be bought from a market as well, so you could still just stay there. I assume this probably depends on which organization you dive into though, as I feel like some organizations would be more suited for exploration, especially if there's a guild based around it. These organizations are what I like to describe as micro factions. Although they have no direct flagging mechanics around them, they are said to be able to go against each other at some point where their goals might not align with each other, causing small disputes. And you can only be loyal to one organization at a time, and if you choose to leave the one you are currently in, you will lose all of your progression. They are run by NPCs, which are one of the few things that players don't have control of in Ashes, but there will be different ranks tied to them that can give players some influence over the organization. This might not be as extensive as setting shop prices and deciding which NPCs are available, similar to what a node governor could do, but I could see smaller options such as setting the guild's emblem or maybe a bit of influence around what the organization's next objective will be. So you may be asking yourself now, what exactly is the point to these social organizations? Well, they offer a range of benefits and rewards to them, such as titles, access to special shops, unique abilities that are usable in node sieges and events, special cosmetics and furniture, along with various artisan perks, such as blueprints and unique tools. Your progression through these organizations will be completed by taking on tasks and quests. These quests will either require you to cooperate or go up against other nodes, which can even have aspects aspects of a node progression locked behind them, requiring you to secure certain items for your node for it to be able to progress forward. Currently, there are three confirmed organizations for Ashes, the Scholars Academy, the Thieves Guild, and the Traders Company. And there is absolutely no information regarding these other than their names, besides the Thieves Guild which we know will involve a bit of theft and acquiring different items. These specific social organizations have been talked about very little so far for something that was a stretch goal on their Kickstarter. We have heard all sorts of info on other stretch goals, but maybe this is one that Intrepid is keeping close to their chest because they haven't begun much work on it and are still deciding how to proceed with these, or maybe they just want to keep some surprises to the player. I would really like to see Intrepid build up these organizations and their standings so though, two NPCs being hostile towards other members of various organizations, or friendly depending on what their objective is, to having certain events based around sneaking into the organization halls to sabotage them and steal items that will directly impact the progression of the opposing. It would give a small minigame feel to PvP, and although you may not be directly involved in fighting another player one-on-one -on -one all the time, it still gives you that feeling of getting one up on them. Intrepid needs to find ways to keep these enticing to players though, because smaller features like these are the ones that tend to slip quietly by and be forgotten by players. Driving organizations into the heart of node progression is a start to it, and with 10,000 players per server there should be no shortage of players to fill these organizations, but they will need to be as complex and interesting as as the other systems Intrepid has in place for players to be attracted to them. What are your thoughts on social organizations in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you're new to Ashes at all and have yet to create an account to jump in on the forums or buy some cosmetic packs, feel free to use my referral link in the description and comments below, as all referrals will go towards benefiting this channel. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.